your work in New Japan, which you've you've worked consistently all throughout this year, and man, I've loved New Japan Strong. I think that uh, as as a bummer, as much of a bummer as the pandemic has been, it's sort of forced a brand split for New Japan, and I think it's worked out really well because New Japan Strong is this wonderful combination of like established stars and people who are who are like bubbling under, and then complete unknowns and they come together and they there's a lot of magic made there what's what's it like been working for new japan and how did that even come about i assume the answer is going to be rocky romero contacted you <laughs> yeah 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 just to answer that question yeah the reason <laughs> was definitely uh rocky and i'm uh i'm forever grateful rocky is an amazing amazing guy amazing performer just you know every time i always bring up rocky's name nothing is ever you know said poorly or bad about him so um yeah i think thank god for rocky but um yeah the i mean the locker room in new japan is incredible um it's a it's a it's a breath of fresh air uh and just like you said you know you've got people in that locker room that are experienced um you've got uh kind of independent legends in the in the states you have you have legends uh, in Japan. You have the the up and coming um, guys in the states. You have the the um, the guys coming over from you know excursion and and the young boys and it, it, it it's so cool because you never know what to expect really and you never know what to expect with these matches and I feel like there's no there's no like real tier system I feel like in in New Japan you can see a young boy go up against you know, somebody that uh, has years and years of experience, then you might see a shock, a shock win, or it might not be a shock win. You might just be looking at the, the future of, uh, of New Japan Pro Wrestling. And, you know, that was just your first time seeing it. Um, so it, it's pretty cool. New Japan is, is pretty cool, and I'm happy that I'm there. And one of the things I love about New Japan Strong, like we've seen people from AEW, from Impact, from MLW, just scoot right on over there in the middle of their deals. And yeah, that forbidden, that forbidden door that people like talking about, it's if, wide open. <laughs> feels like it's like off the hinges now. Like we've seen Archer and Moxley and Kingston, and like when when I saw Chris Bay going over there, I'm like, oh, Impact and New Japan are good, like because they weren't good for a very, very long time. And things are just so much different now than before you were in WWE navigating the scene. So different. I, I kind of can't even believe how different it is. Uh, I mean, but who would have ever imagined or thought that wrestling would get to this point? I, I mean, I certainly did not. You know, even when I was a teenager and or, or a preteen looking on YouTube and watching like the, the dream matchups that people would like make, you know, like fucking like Sting versus Kane. Yeah. Like that was that was like, I mean, that's just something as crazy as that. Like, you know, you're seeing matchups um, that you would have never thought could have happened. Um, and they're happening. They're happening, uh, I would say every week, but you know, you have wrestling on every day now. So I feel like history is being made day after day after day. And it's, uh, it's pretty cool to see, especially in New Japan. I mean, again, you know, you, you you have I mean even for myself, uh, my my favorite match in New Japan that I've had so far um, uh, was against Taiji Ishimori. Mm -hmm. you know, it was great. That, that, that match was I didn't even think that that was possible. But but when it happened, I'm like, man, this is uh, this is so cool. I can't even imagine how cool it must be uh, as a fan to have have seen that or see any of these matches.